Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn me love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. Y'all know I'm out here with these Bills, you know, going against the Chiefs and just out here overthrowing and going through the motions of playing Madden and, uh, you know, not raging, just, just staying under control, just trying, really trying. Because it's tough, man. Because it's tough. Madden is, uh, boy, I, I wish they'd patch or do something to this thing, man. Because this game is whacked out, man. Along with the college, all this stuff right now, man. But, you know, still having fun. But right now, um, yeah, the throwing is a little bit off in this game right now. Uh, although I was able to catch him right here with this corner route, you know, to go up 6-0. Uh, subsequently, 7 nothing. Um Sometimes you just have to throw out of the break and throw to the leverage. Once you see the leverage, if you put the ball, you know, on the, um, yeah, if you can put the ball in the right spot, then, then you should be good. Um, defense, yeah, right. This this particular game, I, I felt like I, my def I just couldn't get my adjustments in. It was just like he was running the quarterback and it was like I could never get to the adjustment where I could get the spy. And then when I got a spy, it was like nobody would, move and yeah he was just scrambling around wasting time waiting for somebody to get open um yeah and we're still just overthrowing people yeah just uh you know just having fun overthrowing people i guess i don't know uh nice texas route right there uh got me to within third and one and then of course <laughs> we don't get the third and one we get the fourth and one um a little bit of motion, see a little shake up in his defense right there, you know, just enough to get the first down. And so still in business, everything's still cool, even though I just don't feel like I'm playing well at this point. Uh, catch him on a nice little dig route right there. Good pickup. Uh, I don't know where I am. Yeah, down to the 30 yard line, came back, ran the ball for a gain of eight. And so, you know, the end of the first quarter, you know, things aren't. They aren't great, but you know, nothing, no, no harm, no foul, as I always say. I'm just trying to get the ball into the end zone, or you know, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the ball in the end zone. I'm not trying to kick a field goal at this point. And for some dumb reason, my running back, I mean, he kept getting tired, even though I wasn't running him all that much, but he kept getting tired. So I ended up putting him on conservative because the, the fumbles are just outlandish right now. And so when you when I run on conservative, yeah, they they don't run worth a dog. So I ended up not getting the first down, uh, giving the ball back to him. He came out, caught me again, just mid adjustment. It's like all that little standing around and movement and all that stuff. It does no good if we're unable to get our adjustments in. Which case in point on that play got me caught on a blitzer and wasn't able to switch stick off. Um, again, it's just like quick hike rollouts and he's just just rolling out it's like they're only allowing me to get maybe one or two adjustments in and it's, it's just not cutting it right now and so rolls out again to his right this time we just started with the spy because we automatically know he's gonna roll out and so you know got the spy on the field uh was able to come back and get some really good defense right there and i think yeah this is the play that they gave me the mystery illegal contact for which i don't know how i got that because i'm like who did i touch um but apparently it was somebody uh still ended up getting the pick right there was had to fight fight right there not to run out of the end zone because man it was like they were dragging me right out of the end zone and i was like no don't you dare run up out of here um so still after all this seven seven uh, get the ball back, hit the, man, I, I don't know what's going on with that right there, hit the, well, yeah, tried to hit the guy across the middle, uh, ball just bounces by his leg as he just watches it, 
uh, try to force one right there. Right now, I'm just just trying to get some some yardage somewhere. But fourth and ten, of course, we go to the trusty curl route, 18 yard variety. Um, pick that up, you know, get back in first down, and then we commence to overthrowing yet again. Um, yeah, I don't know what in the world is going on with this game. It's like it has to keep you when your your mechanics get to a certain level. They they just have to keep you just scrambling for consistency at any cost and so now it's just the overthrows and the drops and the fumbles are crazy but still uh yet another play where we just sail it and the ball you know force the receiver to go for some crazy jump out of bounds animation but all is not lost because we can go into the half you know up by three and so we just line up and go ahead and kick our field goal and yeah we yeah yeah Looked good, but uh, it was not a uh, switch stick right there. Just got faked off the screen <laughs> by one little move. But we're going into the end of the half. I'm just like, all right, yeah, there's no way we can give this up, right? Right? You're right. Yeah. No, no way we're going to get that up. And so 7-7 seven, seven at the end of the half. And so, you know, I feel like I've left a few opportunities on the board, but it's still 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, just got to come out, lock in in the first part of the half and play some good defense as he throws a, 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 yeah, a pass across the middle that just gets caught. I, I don't know. And so he comes back, you know, seeing that. He came back on the next play and just decided to throw it right between the two guys as opposed to jump over the guy's head and catch it um, and score a touchdown, go up by 14. I get the ball back. And out of frustration, I just come out and, and just totally just rush a throw. Um, footwork was all crazy. I felt a block shed coming. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm just all out of whack at this point. And so, um, yeah, 7-14, he has the ball and in, uh, in my territory. And so right now, we got to play some defense. We got to figure something out. And that is not the way um, to leave Pacheco wide open on the Texas route or whatever that was. Um, and right now, things are just not looking good. Again, anytime I play man to man, I always feel like my guys are a step slow, uh, an inch short, something. I don't know. But right there is Pacheco just runs right through the teeth of the defense. And now, so now we're in trouble. Yeah. Now we are in trouble. These are not um, five minute quarters. You know what I mean? These are the four minute quarter games. And so the possessions are big. And so. Now, at this point, it's, it's score or die <laughs> right now. Nice Texas route, you know, to keep the drive alive. Um, get myself, you know, to a place of where I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with making my passes. You know, we haven't overthrown one in about three passes, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, but we're right that back down here in scoring range, no problem. Um, drag routes, dig routes, just, you know, getting keeping a good command of the offense and, you know, of course, letting guys come in the block when we get down by the goal line so that this can become more difficult than it needs to, right? You know, nice juke right there. But, of course, you know, one guy will keep us from getting in the end zone. Uh, still able to catch my man, uh, Keon Coleman, right there, man. I'm talking about, dog, he has become the go-to guy on this team for me um, in terms of keeping the chains moving, you know, is a, a – I mean, he's a big play receiver, but but yeah, when I want to keep chains moving, man, yeah, he, he is he is a number one. Um, as we give up this corner route right here to Kelsey, made a good tackle right there because I've seen situations where that becomes a touchdown. We could easily have missed that tackle, but uh, made a good tackle right there. And so now, uh, 14 21, as he begins, keeps driving down, and, and he kept throwing the ball for some reason right there. And so, um, Caught him right there with a little bit of box defense. And, yeah, you know, he had some pressure on him, made him get rid of the ball way before he wanted to. And he just throws a blind book, you know, right to my guy. But what does it matter? Because we're not going to block anyway. <laughs> Anytime we get a guy open, that block shed is surely coming. Um, and then on second down, you know, we get back to the consistency of just overthrowing and throwing the ball past people. You know, until we get down in the dumps and then we just go to Keon Coleman, who rescues us one more time. Um, again, anytime anyone is open, we are not going to block a soul. And so a uh, minute 57 seconds left. We're trying to get into the end zone, tie this game up right now. We just need a first down. 
um, and you know to work in a timely fashion. But once again, we catch Keon right there in the seam. Uh, it was actually a 18 yard curl curl route, but you know if you throw those early again, I keep telling you guys these are they're actually streaks depending upon when you throw them. You know they become a curl at the top of the route. If you throw it early enough in the route, it's it's still a streak. All right, so now, yeah. All tied up at 21-21 as it seems like all was seemingly lost as I flip uh, man lock or whatever you call it. Man three lock or whatever. And I don't know what the world just happened on that play. I, I Sometimes the play art doesn't do what it says it's going to do. And so sometimes, you know, it, it'll scare you a little bit and you have to be sure. Um, forced him away from his first read back to the backside. And yeah, oh, no, no, no ball's not gonna stay in the air that long because we're gonna click on and go get that thing and um yeah 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 great comeback all right man appreciate each and every one of you guys you guys have a great day it is your boy coach